हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ टिल नाउ यू आर फैमिलियर विद द फैक्ट्स एंड डायमेंशन व्हाट आर दे व्हाट इज फैक्ट्स एंड व्हाट इज डायमेंशन नाउ वी अंडरस्टैंड हाउ दे अरेंज टू इंश्योर कंसिस्टेंसी इन आवर डेटा वेयरहाउस वी डू दिस बिकॉज़ इन आवर डेटा सेट्स हंड्रेड ऑफ फैक्ट्स एंड डायमेंशन देयर बट दे आर नॉट डायरेक्टली रिलेटेड टू ईच अदर सो वी रिक्वायर अ स्कीमा नाउ वी विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द स्टार स्कीमा and how to create it and just it's just collection of a uh, large data set huge data set is not enough for database to create any kind of information so what is the star schema first we will understand the theoretically a schema is an outline of the entire data warehouse it shows how different data sets are connected and how the different attributes of each data set are used for that data warehouse only some facts and dimensions are combined in a specific manner to build the structure of a data warehouse known as schema diagram a star schema is a multi dimensional data model used to organize data in its database so that it is easy to understand and analyze a star schema can be applied for data warehouses databases data marts and other tools as the star schema design is optimized for querying large data set first i i want to tell you there are various kind of schema by which we can connect the data but star schema is most preferable because it has various kind of advantage we we can store and we can connect different data set in the way that we can uh, we can collect the information what we want so what is the star schema and what is the structure of the star schema A star schema is a type of relational database schema that is composed of a single central fact table that is surround, surrounded by dimension tables so this is the basic structure of the star schema this is fact table this is these are dimension table so if we go in more detail what can be facts and what can be dimension for any kind of data set like uh, online we are uh, having some agency by which we are ordering some data some uh, why we are ordering some products online so how uh, we can understand if this is fact table and these are dimension table let's first understand we do have only fact table what the fact table have it has sales information about a company which is product id which has order id customer id employ uh, employer id total quantity discount so from this fact table what we can get we can have total number of sale we also can have total number of product sale we also have total number of customers in any kind of e-commerce company we can have this information from here we, how much sales were there in department but if we want any information like which customer ordered in this particular year how much products he ordered we can't get this from here which type of product category was in highest in sale and what was the unit price for that which product name which product was the most in demand so for this we need to just this augmented r facts table so we can answer uh, for different kind of question from here we can answer uh, from fact we cannot answer from fact tables which questions are really important which gives us very very different kind of information so this is the reason we connect the data Here, dimension and uh, facts in this type of format. Because when we go in the detail, when we augment the data set, uh, the data of facts, like uh, which customer, like we are having customer ID here. But what is the name? What is the address? What is the city? What is the zip ID? The, which area are more demanding customers are staying? So this is not enough for us to have customer ID. we have to have some details more about customer which are name their address their age so we need 
augmentation of fax tip that's why we uh, connect uh, we create our star schema similarly product dimension here we have only product id but we have to go in more details which product id what is the product name what is the product category and what is the unit price for that so we have to go in so much that similarly which order id was in which what was the order date which was the year how much quantity in which month so if we need to go in detail we have to answer some smart question we need to augmentation of the fax variable and we have to go in more and more details for every particular value here so this is the basic requirement of the star schema and this is the importance of the star schema if we have to answer more and more beautiful questions smart questions from customer and for our management person so we need to connect our data set to the star schema so star schema is nothing but augmentation augmenting your fact table with loads of additional metadata what is metadata metadata is data itself about the data so the more metadata you augmented more analysis you can do so with dimension table you can analyze much and can give the answer when you have only fact table any intelligent question hardly be answered by fax table alone so you need augmentation of information so we can our analysis will be much more rich in this way and this type of uh, analysis this type of table creation this type of augmentation of data set is known as star schema when we have any e-commerce company information about sales we have only some points like product id order id customer id employer id total quantity and discount but if we want to know the information about particular product in which area which customer are more visiting in which year so we need this kind of data set this kind of schema so this is the basic requirement of a star schema and this is the beautifulness of a star schema that we need augmentation of data for uh, going into the deep analysis of our data for previous years for coming year sales forecasting and for many more things i think you got the information about what star schema is please like and subscribe my channel if you really like this friends thank you thank you so much